Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, we listen to God's word and we hold on to the promise of His Word. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive God's promises today, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. 
A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Please stand. Lord while he may be found call him while he is near The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we celebrate the season of Advent, we are always reminded of God's promise. Because God's Word is not just a book that is read. It is a promise that we hold on to. Kapag tayo po ay nagdiriwang ng panahon ng Adviento, bago ang Kapaskuhan, lagi po itong pinapaalala sa atin na ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang ordinaryong salita o libro na ating bidabasa, kundi ito ay naglalaman ng mga pangako ng Diyos. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we see here an example of how the people treat God's word. The prophet Isaiah tells us of God's promise that one day, he said, the land of Judah will be strong again. It will become firm again. It will become faithful and just again. Remember that in the time of Isaiah, the land of Israel and Judah were undergoing distress and suffering. That is why whenever they hear the word of God, they hear God's promise that one day Israel and Judah will become firm and strong again. That is why the reminder of Isaiah to the people of Israel is not just to listen to God's word, but to trust in God's word. Ang paalala ni Propeta Isaias ay hindi lamang makinig, kundi manalig. Imagine, my dear brothers and sisters, if we treat the Word of God not just as a book, but as a promise, siguro po araw-araw, we are excited to listen to God's Word. If we treat the Word of God as a promise of God, then every day that we attend the Mass, we will be very excited to listen because we will hear not only the book being read to us, but we will hear God's promise proclaimed to us. In our Gospel reading today from the Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus also reminds His disciples not only to listen to God's Word, but to act on them. It is as if Jesus is teaching us that God's Word is not just for listening, it is for acting. You act on God's Word, you hold on to God's Word, because God's Word is not just an ordinary book. God's Word is a promise. My dear brothers and sisters, let the readings today in this season of Advent remind us of this. God's Word is not just a book. It is a promise. It has been fulfilled with the coming of Jesus, but God continuously fulfills it in our daily lives. So, let us not just read the Word of God. Let us not just listen to the Word of God. Let us hold on to it. Let us act on it. My dear brothers and sisters, God's Word is a promise and He fulfills it in our daily lives. 
I hope that whenever you attend the Mass and there are many thousands who are listening to this online Mass, siguro po ay papasok kayo ng trabaho, siguro po ay papasok kayo sa mga opisina ninyo, at tuwing umaga, nakikinig muna kayo sa banal na misa bago nyo simulan ang inyong araw. Tanungin kaya natin araw-araw sa pakikinig natin ng salita ng Diyos. Ano naman kaya ang pangakong tutuparin niya sa araw na ito? If God's word is a promise, then what promise will He fulfill for me today? Amen. Please stand. Confident that He will grant us what we ask for, we make our prayer to God the Father with a sincere heart. For every petition, let us say, Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God, let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That politicians and all those who serve in government may be faithful to their promises and obligations. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving, Loving Father, hear our prayer. prayer. That our faith may find solid ground in our examples rather than in our words. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That all of us who handle duties and responsibilities may carry out our tasks efficiently. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That our departed relatives and friends may finally receive their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Father, you are our strength in time of need. Open our hearts to your grace and lead us into your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us 
the price of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed that His first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when He comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Peace then. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On December 8, the feast day of the Immaculate Conception, that is next week, Wednesday, we will be celebrating Masses here at the Manila Cathedral. The schedule of Masses will be at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. The 6 p.m. Mass will be presided over by our beloved Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And during the 6 p.m. Mass also, he will receive the pallium for the Archbishop, blessed by Pope Francis, and to be invested on him by our papal nuncio, Archbishop Charles Brown. For the details of the other schedules for our feast day, please log on to our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can find there our schedule for the coming feast day of our patroness, the Immaculate Conception. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.